As mentioned earlier in the newscast today, Michigan lawmakers unanimously voted to ban open carry firearms in the Capitol. One senator says it's not enough and has now purchased mace and a gas mask. She explained to our Angela McCall why she feels the Capitol still isn't safe enough. Michigan Senator Dina Polhanke says what happened in D.C. reminded her of April 30th, 2020, when protesters brought guns into the Capitol. It was like deja vu, you know, so we have experienced this uh, in Michigan. And what I saw happening at the U.S. Capitol had the same energy, the same paraphernalia, the same, you know, Trump flags, nooses, Confederate flags. The ban on open carry from the Capitol Commission, she argues, doesn't go far enough. What this does is this sends a, a, a message of a, of a false sense of security, an illusion that just because guns are welcome in the Capitol and we can't see them, we're safe inside the Michigan Capitol. She says it has prompted her to take her personal protection into her own hands, producing mace, a gas mask, and helmet. I'm going to do what I have to do to protect myself, and this is all going to go under my desk, and we'll see how it goes. But that's the reality of this job right now that I have. Paul Hanke, along with Democratic colleague Senator Rosemary Bayer, plan to immediately reintroduce bills that would ban all firearms. I don't know of a purpose to carry a weapon inside the Michigan Capitol, if not to intimidate or to shoot. So it just baffles me that, that the Capitol Commission made the decision today to go with a half measure, a half measure that will avail us nothing and could get someone killed. The complete ban, Polhanke argues, would protect not just legislators, but visitors in a building she worries about working inside. I just wonder if, if it happens here again, you know, and, and we, we have guns that are welcome, albeit concealed now um, in the Michigan Capitol. It could be a bloodbath. In Grand Rapids, Angeline McCall, Fox 17 News. Senator Paul Hanke plans to introduce her bill on the Senate floor as early as next week. Former Republican Governor of California.